Hey guys, let's talk about protein timing. We're going to talk about the anabolic window. Is there such thing as window of opportunity? And we're going to talk about maximum amount of per meal. How much protein can you either digest or absorb per meal? And based on that, how much protein or how often you should eat. So what is the anabolic window? So bro science tells us that after you work out, after you lift weights, then your body is ready to absorb protein or calories to build muscle. And this is your workout and it goes up and then within 30 minutes, it goes down. And after that, whatever you eat, it's not gonna help you build muscle. All your workout is wasted. Well, first of all, common sense tells us that this cannot possibly be true. If it were true, you wouldn't see any muscular people in the world. So what is the anabolic window? Technically, there's a truth that after you uh, work out, your protein intake is better absorbed for a period of time because you're stimulating muscle protein synthesis and then you need to, because you're damaging your muscles and then you give protein to repair those muscles and build muscle and grow your muscles hypertrophy but the anabolic window is much longer than 30 minutes so we don't really have a shutdown time but the research shows that up to 48 hours well you're not going to starve yourself for 48 hours and not eat anything so as long as you eat something after your workout either for dinner or during the day you'll be fine just don't work out and then fast for 48 hours but if you work out afternoon and then you have dinner at seven now it's been a couple hours since you worked out not a big deal what about maximum protein per meal again bro science tells us that you can only absorb and digest up to 30 grams of protein anything you eat after that is wasted again common sense tells us they cannot possibly be true but this is the dangerous part if you know something a little bit, that's the most dangerous kind of knowledge. If you don't know anything, you can learn. If you know everything or quite a bit, you can apply and improve. But if you know just a little bit and think that you know everything, then this, is, this happens. So the reason that they say that, there is an amino acid called leucine. So leucine is the amino acid that stimulates or triggers muscle protein synthesis. The response to leucine is something like this. So as you eat leucine or as you eat protein, the leucine content in the protein helps you build muscle. However, once you reach a certain level of leucine, the more is not going to give you more benefits. So eating 10 gra 20 grams of protein is better than eating 10 grams or maybe eating 30 grams might be better than 20 grams but eating 100 grams is not better than 30 grams this number is not scientifically is not a scientific fact that is decided but it's somewhere between 2 to 4 grams it may be based on your muscles I'm not sure and based on the protein source the leucine content in the protein changes. For example, if you drink whey protein, the leucine content in the whey protein is somewhere about around 10%. If you eat chicken or uh, meat, uh, it's lower, maybe 8% or something. If we think about whey protein, if you drink 30 grams of whey protein, and if it has 3 grams of leucine, then you're gonna satisfy the muscle protein synthesis and the more is not gonna be helpful. So if you drink 50 gram, then you're gonna have the same effect. That's the reason behind this. But this is not the only thing. You can still eat more protein and get, get benefits from it. You can have the 
thermic effect of food from protein. Also, you, your body needs protein, not just for muscle, muscle protein synthesis, everything else too. So how many times a day should you eat protein? So if you eat protein very frequently and you, every time you eat protein, your muscle protein synthesis starts and slows down and starts and slows down, you just replenish by eating more protein. So if you eat protein too frequently, one here, one here, one here, one here, then this you're not going to get the most benefit because you're not stimulating the muscle protein synthesis with enough leucine content. And to get enough leucine content, you need to eat a considerable amount of protein, like 30 grams, 40 grams, 50 grams, or 25 grams. On the other hand, if you eat protein once, get 100 or 200 grams of protein, then you're going to get the benefit, the, the same benefit, because the leucine content capped at certain time, then the muscle protein synthesis is going to slow down and you're not going to stimulate it again. You're still going to get the benefits of protein, but just for the muscle protein synthesis purposes, you're not going to get the ideal, the, the most optimum effect. So the research tells us that you should eat your protein, daily protein, in four to six meals a day. For ideal. It's not a rule, it's not the only way to build muscle or it's not the only way to uh, lose weight. This is ideal. For a regular person like me, it might not, it, it, it might be just splitting hairs. But if you're really serious about it, if you're really gonna build muscle and you want to get to optimum, research tells us that this is the optimum. The, if your daily protein intake is about 200 grams, you should look somewhere between 35 grams to 50 grams of protein per meal. This is enough protein with the leucine content to stimulate muscle protein synthesis, and you're gonna get the optimum effect if you eat it four to six times. But if your protein needs are much lower, because your weight is lower, because you're smaller, let's say you're only going to eat 100 grams, then I would suggest not go all, to, all the way to six meals a day, which would give you about 16 grams of protein per meal. It would be more beneficial to go the lower end, maybe four, even three, so you can eat 25, 30 grams of protein per meal. So you decide how much protein you need and what is convenient for you to how many times to eat that protein. Is there an ideal time during the day to eat protein? Not really. You can eat protein throughout the day. However many meals you eat, you can eat protein with every meal and you will have the benefits. But if you work out, if you lift weights, having somewhere around 30 to 40 grams of protein after the workout may give you slight bit of more benefit. Especially if you supplement with whey protein. I, in my opinion, the best time to drink the whey protein is after your workout, but it doesn't have to be right after. You don't have to put whey protein in your gym bag and have it right after your workout. You don't even have to have whey protein, but if you do, if you can't get enough protein through food and you need to supplement with whey protein, have it after workout. In my opinion, that's the best time to have it. And another time that you might think about getting protein is before bed. But I wouldn't suggest getting whey protein right before bed because whey protein is absorbed very quickly and body uses up in a couple hours and then it's out of your system or used. If you're gonna have protein before bed, I would suggest maybe yogurt or uh, mix it with other macronutrients like carbs and fats 
so the absorption is slower it stays in your bloodstream overnight so casein protein is slow release but you don't have to have casein protein shake you can just have any kind of protein uh, in terms of food you can have a steak you can have chicken you can have yogurt this is going to be beneficial okay guys that's all i have to say about protein timing don't forget to subscribe to the channel leave a like comment below what you think about protein timing what time do you eat your protein and what benefits did you get from your choices let me know let us all, all know see you in the next video guys